by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were meant only for their people and their nation. And the complete message was meant for a particular time period. That's the reason that the miracle they performed, like the parting of the sea, like raising the dead to your life, convinced the people of that time, but cannot be examined and verified by us today. Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger of God Almighty, sent to the whole of humanity. And his message is meant till eternity. The Quran mentions in Surah Al-Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 110. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةَ لِلْعَالَمِينَ That we have sent not thee, but as a mercy to the whole humankind, as a mercy to all the worlds. Since Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger, and his message was everlasting, that's the reason the miracle given to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should also be everlasting and examinable by us at all the times. So Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, performed several miracles which are mentioned in the hadith, that is the traditions. He never emphasized them. Though we Muslims believe in all these miracles, we only boast of the ultimate miracle given to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is the Holy Quran. Al-Quran is the miracle of all times. It proved itself to be a miracle 1400 years ago. It can be reconfirmed today and forever. In short, it's the miracle of miracles.